Hey everyone, and Capricorn, welcome to your June monthly reading. Let's find out what's coming up for Capricorn in love, in life, and everything in between. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What's coming up for Capricorn? What's coming up for Capricorn? All right. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Monthly spread. I'll do a fixed spread for you today. Let's see what's coming up. <laughs> One thing for sure, I know you're going to be busy. You're going to be busy, especially in the beginning of the month. Busy with um, a lot of attention being on you. Could be attention of your co-workers. Yeah, the way you do things, they admire you. There is a sense that um, in whatever you do right now, people admire you for that. People admire your skills, um, your talent, your capability. You know, I hear some people are saying that, yeah, that Capricorn is very capable. So you are very capable in whatever you're doing right now. And in the month of June... A lot of people will see that. A lot of people will recognize it. Yeah. And all the more, the way, the more you do it, the more a lot of things will be given to you. A lot of this could be in a form of new tasks. That means you will be, you will be busier. You'll be more busy than usual. Yeah. But a good thing is, no matter how busy you get, you know what you're going to do. And so it's not about other people where they're just busy doing whatever, but without any goal in mind or without any um, blueprint as to what they're doing, yeah, which is for most cases, it's all of us. <laughs> but here I see that whatever you are doing, you're going to be doing in the month of June. It will definitely keep you busy. And the good thing is, you know why you're doing that. And you know how to do it. You're very capable. You, ha you have this, um, you are gifted with capable hands. Yeah? And not everyone has that. So that one, kudos to you. Yeah. For now, I feel like in terms of money-making strategies, savings, I feel you have in control of it. And for those of you who may have started saving, um, you know, either saving in your savings account or... Um, investing in real estate or stock market or whatever investment you're in, whatever investment um, investment vehicle you have chosen, I feel like you are thriving in it. Yeah, Your investments, you know where it should go, even if, for example, if it is in stock market, if things are going down, you're not really too scared about it because you you exactly know what type of company you have invested in. And you know that, you know, like stock market, it goes up and down every now and then. So whatever this is, you have a plan. That's what I see. And wherever you put your money, your effort into, it is actually working for you. Yeah, there is a sense that for now, as of the current moment, Capricorn, you can feel that whatever you are into is thriving. It's allowing you to have that feeling of comfort um, that you can still enhance your current situation. You can, if you're comfortable, you can be more comfortable. If you're feeling rich right now, you can be wealthy. You know, there is that sense that you are feeling that vibe, right? And it's gonna be, it's gonna propel because in, in, in the month of June, in the beginning, you will get more. For some of you, this could even be rewards or um, promotion for some. Or a lot of people will, will praise you, give you credit. Mm -hmm. Will give you credit. You know what? The, the first two months, uh, the first two weeks, I feel like June is really going to be starting good or great for you because it gives you that sense that I can do it. 
I can make it through. You know, you have that sense that, yeah, if you're not, even if nobody is helping you, you can do it. You're capable of doing it. And you will continue to pursue whatever you have in mind, even if you have already reached the target that you, you, you've you set for your company or for even for yourself. So you will continue because it seems like you have already gotten the... Um, the luck you can feel that the luck is on your side whatever you're doing it it actually amplifies it so if you're trying to save let's say a hundred dollars you will find that on a day-to-day -day basis you can even s save three hundred dollars for example so it's beyond what you have already expected or you you have ex you have been expecting it is because you already found the drive. You already found the, the, it's not the trick, but your working style or the lifestyle that you have right now, it is actually working for you. So it's not that challenging anymore okay? because you already know what you're supposed to know, what you're supposed to do. You already have a plan. And this all the more just gives you confidence that you should carry on with what you're doing. Um, the fact that I see here that you will be more busy, that busier than usual. I see that in the middle of the month, you will try to choose which activity, which group of people you want to be associated with or spend more time with because... The more you get popular, to be more popular, the more you get to be up there, the more you feel like you don't have enough time for everything. Time is a resources that is not unlimited, right? So I see that um, towards the middle of the month, next, next month, you will try to find, you will try to be more efficient with the use of your time. So possibly you will set up you know, brunch with this friend and that friend or the colleague that you have. It's more like you will try to distribute your time without having to really um, keep yourself more haggard than usual. Okay. By the way, I see that there is somebody around you um, who wants your attention, Capricorn. This could be somebody from work. This person will try to get your attention, to keep you interested in them. They will try to show you what they can do. There, there's a sense of showing off, but in a good way. They just want to be more relevant to you. They want to be more known to you. And I feel like you will entertain this thought. You will entertain this person. But nevertheless, you would not put all your eggs in one basket. You will try to open up to this person. But on the other hand, you already know that with or without this person, you're good. This could also be about work or even about relationship, connection that you may have had romantically or you currently have romantically. For you, it's more like, yeah, one, if you have the time, you will try to make the time to be with them, to give them the attention that they want. Perhaps there's something good in there. You will try to do that. But then your priority is, at the end of the day, it's going to be you and the goals that you have in mind. So you want to make sure that you save your energy um, and use it more efficiently. Okay? I feel like you are getting more comfortable being on your own. Um, or being alone in terms of making your own decision, especially towards the mid-month. And there is a situation that you have right now where you feel like things are not very clear or you're not getting the answer, the straight answer, the direct answer, answer that you have been hoping from someone, either from an employer or a romantic partner. There seem to be some blurry lines there you're trying to figure it out but it seems like you're not getting anywhere in terms of evaluating it in terms of thinking through about it so i see you taking some time 
off or you know taking a rest from delving too much into a situation that is not moving along well right now you will rather focus your energy to things that are more productive to you and regarding this situation since it feels like it's things are still pretty uncertain i feel like you give it a rest for now and instead you will put more effort into your day-to-day -day job your own routine and um you, i see that you would still be opening up to this situation or to this person to this employer but more so protective of your own energy you will only open up you will allow yourself to open up to the level that you're comfortable with if it is anything that is giving you anxiety or it feels already like a harassment for you i feel like you will pull yourself out of it because on your own capricorn i see that all is good and dandy and it is expanding so remember the situation that you're in right now give it another six months you will feel like you are already doubled you'll get at least double of what you already have right now double the happiness double the the success double your savings yeah so when i say double that means it amplifies things in the next few months you will see your life progressing and another thing to note is that if we are expecting things to double it's better to have something positive right now so when it doubles up it doubles up positively rather than the other way around all right choice made and dead end yeah after much thought they decided to be with you instead of their other option oh okay somebody is choosing you this could be the person that i am seeing earlier here where they want to get your attention they want you to be looking at them rather than anything else because they have thought about it and they decided to go to be with you rather than their other option you've been chosen <laughs> capricorn so you've been chosen yeah could be romantically or this could also be about work you've been chosen after much thought they decided to be with you so whatever you have been wishing for and you may have had some competitions there or things are pretty blurry i think you're gonna get it and here we have dead end you've reached a dead end you, you've reached a dead end choose to live leave with dignity and strength and get unstuck in love in the month of june so for those of you who are in a relationship right now that is not pleasing that is not giving you happiness is not giving you joy yeah instead of obsessing about it it's better to get yourself unstuck and that will do more wonders in your life moving on yeah let's get you an advice advice for capricorn this is in the month of june choose to leave with dignity and strength and get unstuck in love basically it's just saying that in the month of june you have to choose you duality it's time to face your dark and your light your limitations and your strengths and see how your duality plays into your life wow that's a good one so you have to see your extremes too like um you know what you know you know what your strengths are and you know what the, what are the things that you you can't do so being more aware of what you can and cannot do yeah and have it's it's more about being more realistic about it yeah being more realistic on realistic and practical yeah. and see how this how you can play along with with your strengths and limitations and how in achieving your goals i feel like yeah that is the energy for you that's the advice okay it's time to face your dark and your light your limitations and your strengths and see how your duality plays into your life i'm gonna leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe